We're now going to summarize all the different properties of humanoid inside Roblox. So to demonstrate this, I'm just going to play test. And I'm going to go to the workspace, expand the workspace, and I look for my character. I'm going to expand my character. I'm going to look for the humanoid object, expand that. And here you see we have all the different properties of the humanoid object here that you can change to modify the characters inside your games. Let's take for example, we did this before we changed the head scale property to make the, the head of the characters in our game larger. We also changed the body height scale to turn our character into a slender character. Here you have the body depth scale and the body width scale if you want to change the, the width or the depth of your character. So those are the different objects that you can adjust to change the size of your character. Other than that, if you click on the humanoid object and you go to the properties window, you have all these other things that you can adjust. Let's take for example, we did this before, we changed the walk speed the default is 16, if you make it 50, then your character will run really fast. To wrap this up, why don't we change the body width scale and we're gonna see how the character is gonna look like after that's changed. We're gonna go back to studio now and in your script, just enter the following lines. So basically we're changing the body width scale from the default is one, we're gonna change it to five and that's gonna make our character really wide. Let's now play test and take a look. We're going to give it 8 seconds. And look how wide my character is. So those are the different properties that you can modify to change the size of your characters inside your games.